In 2 Samuel 6, we find David moving the ark from Abinadab's house in Baal, Judah, to Jerusalem. In the process of moving the ark on a new cart, the oxen stumble, and one of Abinadab's sons, named Uzzah, reaches out his hand to steady the ark. God's anger is provoked, and he strikes Uzzah dead. The journey to Jerusalem ceases, and the ark is left at the home of Obed-Edom of Gath. David became angry at God for killing Uzzah, and he was fearful because he knew he was responsible for Uzzah's death since he hadn't followed God's instructions for moving the ark. On the surface, Uzzah's pain with his life for touching the ark seems extreme. I mean, after all, Uzzah was only trying to help. We must remember, though, that every instruction God gives us is always for a purpose. In Exodus 25, verses 11 through 14, God told Moses to put gold rings on each corner of the ark and make poles of acacia wood overlaid with gold to be placed into those rings to carry it. In Deuteronomy 10, verse 8, God distinguished the Levites as the only people allowed to carry the ark. And in Numbers 4, verse 15, God cautioned the Israelites not to touch any of the holy things or they would die. If David had followed God's commandments, he would have had the Levites bring the ark to Jerusalem. They would have carried the ark the proper way, and Uzzah would never have been in place to touch the ark. In 1 Chronicles chapters 13 through 16, we find David completing the ark's journey to Jerusalem. This time, having learned his lesson, David admits his failure, and he asks the Levites to go with him to Obed-Edom's house and carry the ark to Jerusalem according to God's instructions. God is serious about what He tells us in His Word. He's very specific, and He means what He says. He has given us His commandments not to steal our joy, but to ensure that we have the joy and abundance of life that He desires for us. Sometimes it takes a hard lesson to remind us that it's to our benefit to strictly follow His laws and commandments. As we trudge through our daily lives, it's easy to begin taking God and His Word for granted and lose our reverence for Him. Take time to reevaluate where you've put God in His commandments. Make sure to place Him on the throne of your life and honor Him through complete obedience to the commandments in His Word. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Beautiful art.